I'm uh, Dr John Thorpe. I work in the MS Disease Monophone Therapy Clinic in Attenborough's Hospital in Cambridge, uh, covering a um, large part of East Anglia. Um, we've currently got about uh, 750 patients on disease modifying drugs uh, for MS. Uh, in terms of what the algorithm is going to bring to the clinic, I mean, it is obviously based on criteria and guidelines that we're already following from NHS England, uh, ABN and NICE. So it's certainly going to provide clarity and clearly the hope is that it will provide consistency in the way disease modifying drugs are prescribed across the country. Um, that clearly are outliers and I know we are an outlier in terms of our use of uh, alum tuzumab for instance. Um, so theoretically across the country we should be more consistent based on the fact that we're working to the same uh, guidelines already so hopefully the algorithm may smooth out some of the inconsistencies but I think it's going to require uh, audit to look in more detail at these uh, uh, differences across the country and also um, potentially we need to meet uh, nationally more to discuss uh, differences I mean it's we, we already have uh, an MDT set up in uh, Cambridge where we discuss patients that are difficult we don't currently necessarily discuss all the patients on uh, the um, monoclonal antibody therapies before we start them in, in strict MDT setting, but we do discuss them uh, after clinic uh, and if there's any controversy we, we discuss them in an MDT setting, so we may uh, have more consistency about how we manage that, but actually we, we kind of need to be doing that more on a national level or, 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 or wider regional level to sort of iron out inconsistencies in the way that uh, disease modifying drugs are prescribed across the country. Uh, and hopefully, therefore, the way patients are, are treated uh, nationally.